Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is a video, Fashion on a Budget, post uh, VSG surgery. So I had VSG surgery June 11th, 2019. It is now December 29th, 2019. So I went from 244 pounds to 156.8 as of yesterday when I was at the gym and I got on the scale. So... Um, losing so much weight in such a short amount of time means that there's going to be a bit of an adjustment to your clothing. So even now, compared to September, September I was about 175 pounds wearing a woman's size 12. Went to the Gap and bought all brand new size 12 clothing. Happy, loving my new size, I guess, to probably a little bit over a month later being a size 10. Um, so there was a little period that I stayed at 12, then I went down to a 10, but very quickly from a 10 went to technically an 8. So I'm still wearing my 10s because they're not huge. Not like when I had size 14s because I even bought 14s before I was a 12. And I went very quickly from 14 to 12 because it felt like when I first lost weight, I was still wearing my 18 20s and um and then slowly got into a 16 and got to a 14 and then it seemed like quickly after that 14 i was at a 12 12 for a little bit 10 quickly to an 8 so um i had to figure out i like clothing i like my clothing to fit well um i like looking good in my clothes and not frumpy so figured out why not go to the goodwill and get my clothes from there so i this whole process, I've been buying things from the Goodwill. Even when I got up to an 1820, I was getting my clothes from the Goodwill as I was getting bigger. Um, but what I realized that on Sundays, every day, there are certain color tickets that are highlighted. And those color tickets are 50% off for that day. So if it's a $5 shirt, you get it for $250. Well, on Sunday, those color tickets are $1. So... I had a little ball today. I went to a Goodwill on Parkside Avenue in West Philadelphia. And this is the bag that I got from there. This was all 20, might have been $23 worth of stuff. And then I went to the Goodwill in South Philadelphia on Oregon Avenue and got $20, I believe 20 even worth of stuff. So I'm going to very quickly show you the things that I got um, so you can see the kinds of fashions um, that you can get from the goodwill for a buck um there's two things that are over a dollar so i'm going to show you the first thing that was over a dollar these were 4.99 they're actually just a size eight so they're snug to my foot because i generally buy a size larger than an eight but i got these shoes here new year's is coming up i have heels for new year's but i was really thinking hmm maybe i'll bling bling and some flats so that was $4.99. This faux cheetah jacket with a leather belt. This was more expensive. I think this was $6.99. Uh, yeah, even though it's... Uh, whose design is this? MKM, which is, I think, something you usually get from Ross or Rainbow. They have this listed as boutique in $6.99. Because it's still in style and kind of high fashion cute little blazer or jacket so those were the two things that were out of the 99 cent budget the rest of these items i'm gonna go through really quickly because they all cost the same amount of money 99 cents hope you can see it well because i can't really stand up <laughs> turtleneck sweater a lot of sweaters This gray sweater with this little design in the back. I think that was the winner was this design in the back. This Calvin Klein sweater. Got to separate them by their colors so I can wash them. Got a skirt. It was cool, interesting, little ruffles. When I buy things from the Goodwill, I automatically... Right now I'm in my bedroom. I usually do not take them to my bedroom. I take them right into the basement and wash them. But when I do that, I never make a haul video. I never set up anything. So I said, let me 
just filmed what I got right now. I can't really do a try on because I'm not going to try it on until I wash it. Um, and I've never done a try on video. As time goes, maybe I'll get that uh, jazzy. This black pencil skirt, kind of plain, but still timeless. And it was all black skirts. This kind of skater skirt. An amazing thing is, look how small this waist is. From an 1820, this kind of is exciting. It is very exciting. I have these little crumbs in here in the bag. I was like, what is that? This book, I don't even think this store is even open anymore. Rue 21. Uh, but I really like this sweater and I thought it could go really cute with one of the skirts. And this is kind of like an oversized top. It's a size medium. It's kind of light. It'll go back there. I got black jeans from American Apparel. They were 99 cent. Pretty basic. I've never worn anything from American Apparel before. So we'll see how, what their fit is like and how it actually looks on. Um, got these jeans. They are from, they're jeggings. That's why I got them, because they're from Refuge. They're just some plain little jeggings, but I'm like, those always work well and look nice. And then I got, what else? One more shirt. Try and make sure no little bugs fall out. You never know. This sweatshirt, which I thought was pretty cool, has a little cutout in the front, well, collar and little V. That all came from the Parkside uh, Goodwill in West Philadelphia. So this next little bag came from the South Philly Goodwill. I generally like their stuff a little better. And it seems to always have a little more. So I've got this DK. Is it DK? Yep, DK and Y. Oh my, I'm jiggy. I got this DK and Y shirt. That, this skirt looks tiny, so I'm going to see how it works. But to wear with this skirt... It looked like it could fit. We'll see. But if it doesn't, it's only 99 cents. So it doesn't really hurt. Let's see. This is pretty. This is from Express, actually. Um, it's an extra small, but Express stuff always seems to be kind of big. Um, or a little bit larger. So this, like this is... I don't know how this was ever an extra small. But... This is from Express. This one is from Loft. This looks really big too. And all of these are small. I have I have more shirts, but then I also have a lot of sports bras and shorts to work out in. This little shirt is from Olive and Oak. I've never heard of it, but I like the shirt. I like the colors. and I have some more let's see this one's kind of hefty this was a little plain it's by Lauren I think I probably bought it because it was Ralph Lauren and that might have been the whole motivation Ralph Lauren for 99 cent why not this is really cute I don't ha have anything to match it but it's adorable it's a little sweater from New York and Company let me go there I always kind of like polka dots or blotches on things. It's always a classic look. Um, I don't know what this is from, but it's cute. has a little flare on the pockets. I got a few pants from Nair. So that was the, the clincher. There was like Hollister pants for 99 cents and other ones. And I was trying to figure out, should I get them? Because they were smaller. Some of them were like size sixes. In Old Navy, I can fit like a size six. Their clothes is cut fuller than other brands but even like with guess sometimes guess is size uh eight or size 29 waist or whatever i have one pair that i got from a dollar for a dollar at the goodwill i got in them they were tight but i got in them i got another pair that there's no no fitting at all i couldn't even i don't think get it past my thighs or my knees something crazy all right so these are j crew matchstick jeans I think they're kind of like a boyfriend cut. 
I said, all right. And they looked pretty big because I think these, they're 29. So I guess I'm not sure if a 29 is a 10 or if a 29 is an 8 or a 9. So I have those. I have these are gap jeans. I thought they were interesting. Like the pattern, the, the, the way the pockets are, or in the, the little fake zippers. There's, there's extra zippers here that don't really work for nothing. The way these pockets are. And these are a size 29. They say 8. So it's, I definitely have been wearing a size 29 for a little while. And I think a 30 is a 10. I don't know. I don't know how these sizes work with these numbers and stuff. But I have a lot of jeans. These American Eagle pants. They look big enough. They look too big. They'll probably be too big. I think these are actually a size 10. These are a size 10. Um, so they'll probably be too big on me. But I'll wear them anyway. Because they're American Eagle. And I just, for the first time, started being able to wear American Eagle. So I was excited. Then I think other than that, it is all workout clothes. I definitely get my sports bras from there now, and I only had like two, so when I worked out today, I didn't have a sports bra, so there was a little bit of leakage, but, and I do squeeze in, I try for medium sports bras, but a lot of times I can't find them, so I squeeze into a small, um, I'm busty, but I'm, I'm still, you know, small, so I just smush them down so they don't fall out, and I'm good, so I grab this one, this one will be a, probably a perfect fit, this right here. But I also found some little shorts that kind of match or do match it a whole lot. So these little shorts, another kind of pink or peach colored sports bra. I also got, I have two Nike ones that I got from there. Right here. Hmm. This is a shirt. thought it was cute. shirt another shirt oh this is a skirt it just didn't make it into the the rest of the unboxing so this skirt is from or unbagging I don't know what I'm doing this skirt is from the limited and it's a size 10 I have the shorts to work out in And what else? Oh, there's something else in there. I don't know what. Oh, a, a drink. I have these shorts from ASIC to work out in. And I got a pair of, it's non-stop. It's like all that stuff. I've got these pants. Oh, and then I saw these, which I think most people wear just to wear. Um, I grabbed them. They were with the workout clothes, but I grabbed them anyway. Because I just thought they were interesting. I don't know if I'm going to wear them or not. Um, or wear them to work out in. Or actually wear them out in public. In the streets of Philadelphia. I don't know. But mostly everything that I got. Or technically only two things. The jacket and the shoes were not 99 cents. Everything else I got today. Because they were yellow and the green tickets. And they were 99 cents. So as you're on your weight loss journey. And you're just like. Buying new clothes is expensive. I don't even want to go to a regular thrift shop. Check what kind of deals your thrift shops have. I don't know if every Goodwill does that, but check what deals they have because you can have a full-fledged wardrobe for under a hundred bucks, especially if you kind of go different weeks, um, thrift shop hop to the different Goodwills, and they also have shoes and sneakers. But if your feet not getting much smaller, you just got to worry about your clothes. So that is it. Um, thank you for watching my video, like, subscribe, share, um, peace out.